So let's move on with question number two. Question number two, let's look at the page. Calculate the volume of the foreign gases measured at STP. Alright, they seem to be giving us the number of atoms of neon. Okay, maybe I should uh, rewrite the sentence again. Calculate the volume of foreign gases measured at STP. So what they want us to do is to calculate the volume of the foreign gas at STP. So the foreign gas, the first gas is uh, neon gas. Okay, neon gas. Neon gas is not Ne2, it's just Ne. Okay, this is a special case. Later I'll tell you what is neon. Alright, so it has 1.806 times 10 power 24 neon atoms. Remember this is amount. This is the amount part. Huh? Remember how to find the mole? Yes. Big M over N A. Alright. So to find the mole, pretty easy. That's equals to 1.806 times 10 power 24. This will divide by 6. 2 times 10 power 23 and I believe it is 3 mole so this neon gas 3 mole and it will help us to find the volume of neon gas quite easily you just use this V equals to 22.4 times number of mole isn't it easy and straightforward so 22.4 times 3 mole now 22.4 times 3 that will give you 67.2 you get 67.2 dm cube alright let's move on with another one they want you to calculate the same but 18.25 of hydrogen chloride gas look here 18.25 of hydrogen chloride gas HCl right 18.25 let's remember this okay it's a HCl they want the volume at STP so the formula to be used is 2.4 and but our first job is uh, they give us a piece of information 18.25 gram they gave us a piece of information 18.25 gram so can you find the number of mole from this piece of information mass remember what's the formula for number of mole actual mass over molar mass standard mass all right so you will get 18.25 divided by 1 plus 35.5 i hope by now you would have memorized a few uh, important RM, uh, relative molecular mass so they can use it as a molar mass this one H is 1 Cl is 35.5 now 18.25 divided by 36.5 18.25 divided by 36.5 that will give you 0 0.5 mole so please remember that all these inter conversion is possible because you do it step by step you do one step after another now may I ask you can you bring this piece of information to this side this end bring it to this end can you bring it there you say can right so we move on with solving the question but before that we like to rub off the arrow okay look at the circle now 22.4 times 0 0.5 this will give you 11.2 dm cube at STP okay this one is at STP let's try question number three a sample of nitrogen gas N2 has a volume of 1008 let's look at it let's zoom out a sample of oxygen gas here look here a sample of nitrogen gas N2 has a volume of 1008 cm3 at room condition 
What is the mass of the sample and how many molecules of nitrogen gas are in it? So what we do is we piece together all the information, nitrogen gas, so I know it has 2 times 14 and this is 28 gram per mole. This is the molar mass. All right? And then it also mentioned that it, it is at room temperature pressure. And the volume is 1008. 1008 cm3 is what I call 1.8 dm3. All right? So they are actually asking for two pieces of information. The information is number of particles, number of molecules. No, they are not asking. Yeah, they are asking for number of molecules. And another thing they are asking for the mass of the sample. All right. So can we find the number of mole first? Because at RTP, we know that number of mole is V over 24. So if I put this information into V, okay, I can find the number of mole already. So now you see 1.8 divided by 24. So you will get... Right? We get 0 0.075 mole. So let's remember this and go to the next page because there is not enough space for us to, to scribble. So now you know that the number of mole is 0 0.075. Okay, number of mole 0 0.075 mole. And this is N2 gas. And this is room temperature pressure condition. Now, they are asking for the number of molecules. I'm sure this is molecules because uh, N2 is a molecule by itself. They just want to know how many sets. Okay? They are not interested in how many nitrogen inside. So this one, you don't have to times 2. You just put N and A. And so you have 0 0.075 times 6.02 times 10 power 23. I hope this gives us a good number. Let's multiply. 6.02. You get 4.52. You get 4.52 times 10 power 22. Nitrogen molecule. I can just draw a graphic for you, but try not to do that in exam papers. Or you can put it in language that would be uh, nitrogen molecule. Okay, you can write that. Molecules. So next, the last one is they want to find the mass. Okay? They want to find the mass using number of moles 0 0.075 mole again. Alright? 0 0.075 mole again. They want the mass of nitrogen gas. Remember I told you mass equals to number of mole times molar mass. So this one you use 0 0.075 times. This one is 28. You know why 28? Because 2 times 14. So you get 28. So now you can press the calculator and I'm sure that you will get 2.1 gram okay so this will be 2.1 gram of nitrogen gas okay gas can be heavy as well all right so thank you very much if you like this and please tell your friends about it tell your classmates tell your schoolmates tell your neighbors tell your friends tell your internet friends okay don't be shy to share good things with others